Please remain standing. Friends, we've got today the invitation of Jason and Teresa to share in the joy of your wedding. What we're about to see and hear is an outward expression of the inner love and devotion which the two of you have for one another. In the spirit of love, which gives us the longing for and capability of loving, we're thankful for you, Jason, and you, Teresa, and for the example of love that you embody here in our presence. May all of us sense love's presence on this joyous occasion of showing your love and making your vows as your witnesses, so all of us will be changed by what is said and with his tears. You may please be seated. <laughs> Come together today from near and far to celebrate your lives as individuals and to bestow our special blessing on the two of you as you begin a magical journey together as husband and his wife. We come together to witness the creation of a brand new family and to share in the joy of that moment with you. Your marriage will develop a true friendship between you, and that friendship must be strong to enable you to withstand the test of time. I'd like to tell you a little love story about Jason and Teresa. When Jason first met Teresa, he thought, Teresa has a beautiful smile that lights up the room. While talking with her, he knew right away that she was a kind, genuine, and warm person. Her sweetness, charm, and optimism were obvious from the beginning. When Teresa met Jason, she thought, Jason is a really nice guy. Charming, intelligent, humble, great sense of humor, and handsome. Jason's eyes are full of sincerity and hope. His charisma made her feel warm and secure. On the first date, they went to the distillery in Yale Town. <laughs> they had a genuine conversation and shared many laughs in a short time. They felt each other's sincerity when they talked about common interests and goals for the future. When Jason knew he wanted to marry Teresa, he realized that she complimented his life and made him better than he was on his own. Smart man. <laughs> he was enjoying the life of a bachelor before, but he knew that along with Teresa, they could build a wonderful life together. How sweet. When Teresa knew she wanted to marry Jason, she knew he was the one when he took such good care of her. They could share so many laughs and great conversations, even when they were not doing anything. When Jason asked Teresa to marry him, rather than a traditional proposal, they had a mutual understanding that they wanted to get married. They had a conversation about their shared hopes and dreams for the future. They knew that they loved each other and wanted to live their lives together. Their dream is to have a happy family. To be good friends, there's three things you need to know two things that you don't want to do, and one thing that you do want to do. The first thing that you want to avoid is going by who you think you are. We as men tend to think that the way that we do things are the way they should be done. Things like sleeping with the window wide open makes perfect sense to us, but it can drive our spouse crazy. The next thing to avoid is who we think our spouse is. We oftentimes think with just a little bit of tweaking, we can make our spouse a little bit better. This also should be avoided in marriage. The story is told of a friend of a bride who was to be married. And the friend told the bride, if you want your husband to do something, tell him he's probably too old and then he'll do it. This also should be avoided in marriage. The third thing in marriage that needs to be maintained is who your spouse is becoming as you selflessly love them. We're not meant to be the designer of change in our mates, but rather witnesses and encouragers of the work that love is doing. 